Gives the ball out wide to Gaia. Acres of space. Can he pick out the right run? He can. Kulusevski. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, my goodness. Can he get this ball in? He can. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. A clinical counter-attack. He's offside. Finds Gabriel Jesus into the box. They're there. What an unbelievable opportunity for Odegaard to put Arsenal 1-0 up. Welcome back, everyone, and welcome to another episode of my FIFA 22 career mode with Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. And we do have an absolute bumper episode to get through. As you can see, we've got eight games in December. And to be fair, what I've decided to do, normally I do play on a month-by-month -month basis, but because we've got so many big games, we've got Bayern Munich, Arsenal, United, Chelsea. We've got Palace in the league as well, who are second in the table at the moment. There are a lot of games I want to play. So I've decided to actually split this month in half. So I'm going to have the first four games of this month in this episode. And then obviously in the next episode to follow, I'll then have the next four games, which include the United and Chelsea game. But for now, we've got Bournemouth, Bayern Munich in the Champions League, Palace and Arsenal in the Premier League as well. So what I'll probably do is I'll sim the Bournemouth game and then obviously I'll play the, the Bayern Munich, play the Palace game and then finish off playing, of course, the North London derby against Arsenal. So enough of the talk, let's get straight into it. So off we go to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's the first game of the episode against Bournemouth. It's a game, as I said, I am going to sim. And as you can see, I've made quite a few changes. Obviously, bearing in mind, I do have Bayern Munich coming up midweek. So Lloris keeps a place in goal. Bastoni de Ligt and Sanchez comes in at the back. Emerson Royale and Sessegnon in the wing-back positions. Basuma, Skip and Hill in midfield with Richarlison taking Kane's place up front. And he is, of course, partnered by Hyung Min Son. And it's Lucas Mora who manages to get the goal for us. We uh, we leave it late, 86th minute winner. But fortunately, that strength in depth proving invaluable. A difficult, difficult, tight 1-0 win against Bournemouth. But the important thing is we get the job done. And the game we need to win, we do win. And that will put us in a really, really good position and give us loads of momentum heading into Bayern Munich. And on we go to Bayern Munich. You can see in the standings, two points separate us from Bayern Munich in second place. So, so long as we don't lose this game, we will top the group. We did manage to get a 1-1 draw at Bayern Munich in Germany as well. So I'm pretty confident we will be able to get something from this game. You can see I'm actually gonna keep the, obviously the full strength formation for me, Bayern Munich in a 4-2-3-1 with some big, big names in that team. So let's head over to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and let's get started. Alverde. Down the line to Ricardo Pereira. Harry Kane has it. He's not going to have the pace to go by Goretzka. So we're going to bring this back in to Valverde. A wide to Hoybier. Lovely, lovely little turn from him. You know what? I'm going to strike. And that is a good save from Manuel Neuer. Kulusevski. Hoybier. Going to try and curl this in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Manuel Neuer just seemed to kind of fall over. Bit weird there from him. But Hoybier with a brilliant, brilliant finish to put us 1-0 up here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We've started off ferociously. It's been end-to-end -end stuff. Bayern Munich had a great chance earlier on in the half. We just had a brilliant chance just then. But Hoybier, a lovely little turn, had acres of space on the outside of the box. And he curls that round Neuer to put us 1-0 up here in a big, big important game in our group. Okay. Gives it in field to Lewandowski. No one challenging him. He's got acres of space. And it's off the bar from Robert Lewandowski. It's a great challenge. And fortunately, we just get the ball away. Strong ball into Kulusevski. Son gives the ball out wide to Gaia. Acres of space. Can he pick out the right run? He can. Kulusevski. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, my goodness. Kulusevski with a brilliant chance to put us 2-0 up. Options limited in the middle. So he brings it in field. Looks for Valverde, finds Valverde. Valverde going to switch it onto his left. Struck way wide. Mane gives it in field to Musiano, gives it to Lewandowski. Doesn't really have too many options. He's probably going to have to go backwards. He does go backwards to Alfonso Davies. Gives it back to Lewandowski. Goes backwards again, but goes to Goretzka, who does have a lot of space. And now Koke runs into space as well. No one really challenging him. We're kind of standing off a little bit. Which is a little bit worrying. Koke with a brilliant, brilliant strike. I thought that had gone wide. Lloris beaten from distance. And we just gave them too much space. I don't really know what we were doing. We just sort of, sort of stood off them. And Koke blasts it from distance. 
sticks it past Hugo Lloris and it's 1-1. Same as the first game in the group stage. We took the lead and Bayern Munich get one back from us. They've done it again. It's 1-1 here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Aston, he clears that. Not very far, though. Musiala has it in a really, really dangerous position. Finds Lewandowski. What an unbelievable strike. And in the blink of an eye, Bayern Munich take the lead. I said at the very beginning of the game, am I going to regret not transferring out Lewandowski? And he's gone and done it again. He's gone and scored again against me. And what a goal that was. That was even better than the first one. Absolutely smashes that into the top left-hand corner. Absolutely nothing Hugo Lloris could do about that. Bastoni, could he have got a little bit tighter? Maybe. But there was no stopping that whatsoever. Lloris did get a hand to it. But it just wasn't enough. I'm not happy about it. But to be honest, I didn't really think there was anything we could have done. It's 2-1 by Munich. Romero. I've got substitutes waiting. I can't get them on the field. But maybe we don't need them. Ricardo Pereira. Tried to give that in to Son. It was great defending. We've got a second shot. It's in the box. Where is Harry Kane? He's nowhere to be seen. Hoybier. Kane is seen now. Kane's got the ball. Absolutely nowhere to go with it though. Hoybier. Bayern Munich just cutting off all of our passing lanes. Hyungmin Son. Looks out wide for Pereira. Finds him. Can we get the ball in the box? Pereira onto his left foot. Swings that one in. We're there. It's 2-2. It's Valverde again, the man in the middle, the main man. He's been absolutely fantastic since we've brought him in. And he's there at the death to head us into the next round of the Champions League, top of our group. What a game it has been. It's been end-to-end -end between the two teams, and that is a fantastic header. Ricardo Pereira with a fantastic ball in on his weaker foot. And Valverde gets there ahead of the defenders. And with a bullet header, sends that past Manuel Neuer. And we get back in the game. It's 2-2. And that is the end of the game. It finishes 2-2 here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What a time to score. A huge bullet header from Valverde sends us to the top of the group. And that will mean, hopefully, we get a more favourable draw in the next round. And so now it's on to Crystal Palace in the Premier League. And looking at the Premier League, you can see we are two points clear of Crystal Palace, three points clear of Chelsea. So this game early on in the season is absolutely huge. And I didn't think in December I would be having a potential title decider against Crystal Palace. But that is where we find ourselves. And we also find ourselves back at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You can see it's a full strength lineup for me. Emerson Royale back in for Ricardo Pereira. That's really the only change. And as you can see from Crystal Palace, it's a 4-3-3 for them. Let's head over to the Tottenham Stadium and let's see how we get on. I was going to say good feet, but then the ball gets intercepted by Odoard. Fafana. Fafana playing in central midfield. He is on loan from Chelsea, so that's a bit of an odd position from him. But uh, Odoard, what a strike from him. Unbelievable strike from distance. And Hugo Lloris is forced into a big, important save early on. I was trying to play the ball across to him quickly, but he stopped his run because he was offside and we ended up giving that away. That is a lovely ball to Odewad. He finds himself in a pocket of space. And lovely play from him as well, between him and Kiwal. Oh, that is beautiful. Bastoni just there in the nick of time. Bit of an odd clearance from him. But we do get control of the ball once again. De Ligt gives that away to Hughes. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. We're all over the place. It's a bit of a dodgy start. And to be honest, I'm starting to see why Crystal Palace are challenging for the title. They've been absolutely fantastic in this opening 20 minutes. Looking for the run of Kulusevski. Finds Kulusevski. Looks for the run of Son. He finds Son as well. Son in a lot of space down this left-hand side. Finds the ball to Emerson Royale. I thought it was Emerson Royale. It's not. It's Valverde. It doesn't matter which one it is. It is 1-0 Tottenham. And that is what matters. Valverde has been an absolute sensation. Scored a brilliant goal at the end against Bayern Munich. And scores another brilliant goal here at Crystal Palace. I've lost count of how many goals he scored. I think it must be four or five from midfield so early on in this season. It's a lovely finish. It's a lovely ball from Hyungmin Son. And he blasts that past the goalkeeper. It's Tottenham 1, Crystal Palace 0. Olivier gives it to Kane. Looking for Valverde. And Valverde, that is a horrendous challenge. And Kane with the strike. Are we going to get a free kick? 
Doesn't look like we are, but uh, Bastoni's trying to bulldoze his way through. Can't. And Crystal Palace get it away here. I don't know how we didn't get a free kick there. But referee seemingly playing advantage and thought we clearly did have the advantage that we clearly didn't take very well. Battle there with Romero. Oh, that is a shocking, shocking clearance. Not what I wanted. But fortunately, it will go to Emerson Royale. We can now try and break. Kane out to Valverde. Valverde will have the pace to go down the line. Can he get this ball in? He can. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. A clinical counter-attack. He's offside. Tries to get away from the defender. He does. Skips away from another. Drives forward. Looking for the ball off to Emerson Royale. Finds Emerson Royale. Kane finds Valverde. He turns. I was trying to find Emerson Royale, but he went offside. Almost give it away, but we get it back. Fortunately for us, Harry Kane has it. Gives it to Hoybier. Son. Crystal Palace have men back. Son just trying to drive back forward. Just can't find the gap. Oh, that is a lovely ball. Valverde. Good save from the goalkeeper. That is a beautiful, beautiful ball through from Hyungmin Son. And Valverde almost able to add a second. That is a poor clearance from the goalkeeper. Kane picks that up. Kane strikes. Just over the bar. Richarlison wins that in the air. Harry Kane has it. Lays it off to Richarlison, the substitute. Gives it to the other substitute, Basuma. Can he give it back to Richarlison? He doesn't. Gives it to Son. Son with a lovely turn. Son with a lovely, lovely finish. It is 2-0 Tottenham. And that, surely, is the game done. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from Heung-Min Son. It's a lovely turn. It's an even better finish. After some great work from Basuma. That is a lovely ball through. Takes it away from the defender. That is an unbelievable strike. Into the top right-hand corner of the goal. Keeper had absolutely no chance. And it's 2-0 Tottenham Hotspur. Turns, finds the ball to Son. It's ball through to Sessignon, I think. Sessignon is going to be offside. He's not. Gives it to Kane. 3-0. How on earth was Ryan Sessignon not offside? I thought for sure he was. Unbelievable. Can't believe that. Brilliant, brilliant, incisive play for us. I thought it was an absolute mile offside. But somehow, he manages to stay on. Passes the ball across to Harry Kane. And that is game over. A huge potential title deciding game here against Crystal Palace so early on in the season. And we have absolutely romped home. It is 3-0. Harry Kane adds to his Premier League tally. Charleston there. Crystal Palace have fallen apart now. They are absolutely shell-shocked. Kane into Son. Almost, almost. And I think the goalkeeper will clear. And the referee is now bound to blow his whistle. He does. And we win the game 3-0. In the end, it's a pretty comfortable game. We weren't really threatened too much. We get the job done. And that will cement our place at the top of the Premier League table. What a result. 3-0. And on we go to the final game of this episode. And what a game to end this episode on. It's away at Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. You can see... I've obviously reverted back to my normal starting 11. And as for Arsenal, it's a 4-4-1-1. Gabriel Jesus, of course, leading the line. And to be honest, not really any major signings for Arsenal, which is quite a surprise. Maybe that explains their current demise in the Premier League. But nonetheless, it's a North London derby. Form goes out the window. Let's see who can get the better result. Ricardo Pereira picks this up. Harry Kane looks for Ricardo Pereira again. Can't find him. It's away from Arsenal. Been a really, really tight affair early doors in this game. But Emil Smith-Rowe running down this left-hand side. Tries to bring it inside. He does bring it inside. Finds Odegaard. Finds Vieira. Finds Gabriel Jesus into the box. They're there. What an unbelievable opportunity for Odegaard to put Arsenal 1-0 up. He's absolutely blazed that over the bar. Unmarked. Lloris was beaten. The goal wasn't. Unbelievable chance. Looks out wide for Ricardo Pereira. Finds Ricardo Pereira. Trying to get this ball in. Ball's into Heung-Min Son. Can't get there. Kulusevski, sorry. Uh, Valverde, I should say, gets there. But that is a shocking ball from De Ligt. And that is the end of the first half. It's been a very, very tight, cagey affair. Arsenal, to be fair, have carved out the better chances. But it remains 0-0. De Ligt. Out wide to Gaia. Can we launch something here? We have to surely be better in this second half than we were in the first, Kuliszewski to Valverde, looks for Harry Kane, finds him, 
Looks for Hyungmin Son, finds him. Looking for the run of Kulusevski, finds him. He does not find the back of the net. Biggest opportunity of the game so far. Keeper didn't even get a hand to it. He just put it wide. What a big, big miss. And somehow it stays nil-nil. Looks for Son in field, finds him. Kane looks for the run of Son again. He's in here, one-on-one, -on -one. surely. Great save from Ramsdale. Kulusevski to Hyungmin Son. Looks for, it looked for Kane, but he finds Valverde. Goes past the defender, and it's Valverde once again. We have been so much better in this second half. We've taken control. We've had ample opportunities. And this time, Valverde, with the most difficult one of the lot, absolutely blasts it into the top left-hand corner. I've said this before, and I will say it again. He has been an absolute revelation in the centre of the park. What an unbelievable strike, and what a way to score in your first ever North London derby. Left the keeper with absolutely no chance. What a phenomenal goal. I am absolutely delighted. It is Tottenham 1, Arsenal 0. Oivier away, Valverde. This surely is going to be our last chance of the game. Hyung Min Son. Just need to uh, protect this ball a little bit. Hyung Min Son bringing this forward. Hyung Min Son. That's ridiculous. That is an absolutely unbelievable goal. The Arsenal players fall to the floor. Hyung Min Son. He did two Arsenal players and smashed that into the top right hand corner. Unbelievable stuff from Hyung Min Son. The Arsenal players absolutely knackered. I don't know what they were doing defensively. I don't know what the keeper was doing. But it's a phenomenal strike from Hyung Min Son. And that is game over. And it's Tottenham 2, Arsenal 0. And it's another brilliant result here at this North London derby. Son scores at the death to seal the three points for us once again. It's 2-0 here at the Emirates. A difficult, difficult game, particularly in the first half. It was a really, really cagey game. Arsenal making it really, really difficult to break them down. But I think second half, we took control. They missed several opportunities, which to be fair, they really should have put away. But I don't really care about that. We keep the clean sheet, 2-0 Tottenham, and we continue our march to the Premier League title. And that is the end of this episode. 17 games played so far this Premier League season. We sit pretty at the top of the table. Chelsea in second. Palace have dropped down to third. City, United in fourth and fifth. And Newcastle make up sixth position. A brilliant, brilliant episode all round. Three wins, one draw to Bayern Munich means that we top our Champions League group and we are top of the Premier League. And with West Brom... Manchester United, Chelsea and Southampton in the next episode. We have another huge episode filled with more important games. If you have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like and subscribe. It will do the channel an absolute world of good. But apart from that, I hope I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.